Any opposed? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Dr. Steve <laughs> Lee. Well, the first thing I'd like to say is War Eagle. <laughs> Well, the students need to know that I understand the land-grant mission and there are other aspects of the university, research and extension, but students come first. That's really why we're here, is to prepare students to live a life. It's not just about their education in the classroom, that I'm the kind of president that wants them to understand much of what they learn when they're at Auburn will be outside the classroom. Team building skills, time management skills, citizenry and social responsibility. So I'm going to care about that. I'm going to do everything in my power to make the value of an Auburn degree for them tremendously high. I enjoy walking with people and meeting people. And I think sometimes leaders get a lot of their data that's been filtered along the way to them. I think it's important that uh, you get information firsthand from people that are in classes or waiting for a seat on the bus or in the dining hall. Um, I think the walk around management style suits me well because I like to see things with my own eyes. Well, you want to take a great university and make it even greater. So in that sense, I wanted to still provide access and a high quality, affordable education to especially Alabama residents, but even students beyond that. So we don't want to lose that focus. But at the same time, we continue to focus on a high quality, affordable education. We want to grow other aspects of the university. We want to grow its national and international reputation, but we want to do it on substance. So we want to see our research grow. We want to see the impacts of our research become more significant. We want to see Auburn be a truly economic driver in the state of Alabama. And so you'll see these things happen over time. They won't happen overnight. But I think you'll see the prominence of this great university continue to grow. So when I leave here, if everybody knows Auburn and its accomplishments, I'll be happy. I do believe that the faculty and the administration make better decisions when they interact and discuss things. I've always had the philosophy when you get a lot of smart people around the table openly discussing things, you don't make many mistakes. I try and make myself very available. It's rare a faculty member writes an email to me that I don't respond the same day. So they'll find me very responsive, very willing to talk, and I hope they do reach out because I can't learn this university and advance it to its fullest extent without that knowledge and input from the faculty. But we can't be a first-class comprehensive university without being more holistic. And that means the arts, the humanities, social sciences, many other areas. We need to train and educate our students to be well-rounded citizens. You can't do that without some emphasis on the humanities. And to me, it's exciting, it's rewarding to see that there's that interest and initiative already underway at Auburn. So you'll find me at uh, music events, art events, as much as my schedule allows, you'll see me across events on campus and you'll find uh, me very supportive of all aspects of the university mission. First thing I want the alumni to know is I need their help. To really understand this university, I need to understand the whole Auburn family, the history, why they went here, why they love this place so much, and I'm sure they'll be glad to share that with me. In some ways, we're going to need their support. There's not a great likelihood of increased state support at major public universities in the future and for us to achieve many of the things we want to achieve we're going to need to partner with our alumni and friends to raise private dollars to move us forward but they'll find me to be a tireless champion of this great university and they can help me along that journey these are lifestyle jobs where you work seven days a week and you work nights and and frankly there's always something else you could do no matter how much you accomplish on any given day there's a meeting you couldn't attend, a student activity you missed just because of the complexities of your schedule. But when I do have some free time, I am an archery nut. I like to shoot my bow. I uh, have a lot of bows. My wife thinks maybe too many. But uh, it's a good way to kind of break your train of thought from work things and relax a little and get outside. So I do enjoy that. Um, I have a, a bird dog. I like to get out in the field and watch him. And uh, Janet and I both love public gardens. So when we get a chance to just spend some quiet downtime together, uh, we'll go to public gardens. It's exciting to us to see what's right next door to the president's house here in Auburn. And we've already noticed a, a nice garden in uh, Birmingham when we were visiting there right next to the zoo. So you'll find us doing some of that as well. But visiting with alumni and students is probably almost a hobby for us. We really like to spend time 
with alumni and students. And um, to me, that's not work. That's the fun part of the job.